Okay, so if you're one of those lucky people that have the high vaulted glass, those beautiful glass windows, but they're 20 feet up in the air, you don't know how to get to them. Well, obviously you need a ladder, but with that ladder, you're gonna need drop cloths. You're going to need rags that you can put on the ends of your ladder. If you have cultured marble and you put the ladder on that floor, you need to have someone hold the bottom of that ladder or it's going to slide out from underneath you, causing problems on your wall as well as causing serious injury to yourself and others. You're going to need to prop that ladder up against the wall. Just remember before you put that ladder up, make sure you put the rags on each end of the ladder where the ladder will be going against your wall. So when you put it up against your wall, it will protect your sheetrock. Now once you put it up there, make sure there's someone holding that ladder so it doesn't slip out from underneath you. Then you have to get up there and you have to wash that glass. Make sure you have the right tools. You are going to need a professional mop, professional squeegee. You can do this or you can hire a window cleaning company to come in and do that for you. You don't have to worry about it at all. One of the questions that I get from clients when I power wash the driveway, I get all the oil stains off. One of the questions they ask me is, how are we gonna keep this oil off? How are we gonna keep it from returning so we don't have to keep paying you to power wash this? And you can do two things. One, you can fix your car. Two, you can seal your driveway. So after the power washing company has cleaned that driveway and the oil is gone, it looks nice, you wanna keep it off. The way to do it is to seal it. You can either put a wet look sealant or a flat look sealant and ask the pressure washing company if they can provide this service. It's a very important prevention service that will keep it off for as much as five years. And it could cost between 500 to 1,000, depending on the type of space and how, many, how much square footage that you actually have on it. So one of the best ways to pick a window cleaning company is through customer reviews and ratings. If you already know the window cleaning company you want to use, I, I highly recommend you go to their website because they'll have reviews from their current customers and a lot of times if you contact the, that company directly, they will give you uh, references of companies that they use. You actually talk to someone on the phone, which is very important. I would highly recommend that you ask them for references so that you can call their, comp their customers that use them and ask them whatever questions you'd like. If you don't know what kind of cleaning company you want to use, I highly recommend you go to Service Magic. If you go to servicemagic.com and you'll be able to have many choices uh, from qualified companies. They will have many vendors in the field that you're looking for and the services that you're looking for and they will have customer reviews and ratings and you'll be able to see exactly what people are saying about them and make a decision on what type of company you would like to use. So if you like what you've seen and you'd like to learn more then please go to my website jjwindowash.com. See you soon.